the Calgary Library. Today's cute little book is Swift Fox all along. Rebecca Thomas and Maya McKibben. Swift Fox's belly fills with butterflies. <laughs> Usually if her dad visits, they go for ice cream or to the park. Most of the time her big sister comes too, but not today. Today, he's taking her on a long drive to a place she's never been before. Mom says she's old enough. Are you excited, her dad asks? You're going to meet your aunties and uncles and cousins too. Then you're going to learn how to be Micmac. She's proud to be Micmac. What does it mean? Swift, Swift Fox eyes the bundle in the back seat. What's Micmac? <laughs> so you are. From your eyes to your toes, what's inside? That's how you walk, talk, and think. The butterflies in your belly get bigger. We're here. Don't need to be afraid of your family. This is a red bun. Those freckles sure are cute. We were just about to smudge, a man says. Butterflies in her tummy grow into birds. I don't know how. <laughs> sure you do. So you are. Swift Fox is a bit scared. Hides under the porch. <laughs> She'll come back when she's ready. Swift Fox looks around. She listens to the wind rustling the trees, the same kind of trees that are in the park she goes to with her dad. She notices the smell of drinking from the house. It's the bread her dad makes in the frying pan. Sometimes he puts raisins in it. <laughs> Swift Fox loves that bread. She serves, she observes another boy. Come on, it's time to meet your cousins. The boy has freckles too. Who are you? The boy asks. <laughs> Swift Fox. What's that smell? Well, it happens to be the best bread in the world. <laughs> well, then why aren't you eating it? Well, maybe we should go try some. Ready for some bread? Swift Fox's dad takes the braid of grass and shows her what to do. She knows that smell. Butterflies fly away. Sometimes it's hard to find what's inside of it. 